Okay, so welcome to a live lesson on a Saturday evening uh, in Japan. Lovely to have um, the time to do it, actually. Um, can't remember the last time we did a live lesson. Must be a few weeks ago. So we are due to have uh, one at the moment. So, um, all right, hopefully we can get... Uh, a nice amount of people joining in and of course today we're going to look at um, some quizzes as usual this is just a fun way for us to learn and enjoy uh, English of course so going through quizzes using examples means that we can of course um, remember them a lot easier um so yes that's what we're gonna do uh hopefully there's gonna be a few people that can join us and enjoy um so if you are new please uh drop a hello and say where you are from um if you are not new and you've been here before also say hello um and yes tell me what you've been up to uh that would be great to hear of course all right, uh, so let's take a look. Is there anyone? Oh, we've got a couple of people in the stream already, which is lovely to see. Fantastic stuff. Okay, so as I said, as we go through, you can always um, ask questions. Um, don't be afraid to post your examples as well. Some of the vocabulary and things that we're going to look at today are prepositions. Uh, we're going to look at, which is kind of cool, the difference between um, American English and British English. So that's going to be a good one uh, too. Um, I'm sure you're going to feel that you know all of the words. However, there might be some interesting British ones that you might not know. All right. So, uh, yes, uh, invite your friends. Tell everyone else to come and join in. Uh, and hopefully we can get a decent amount of people joining in the live lesson, uh, of course. Uh, only a couple at the moment. <laughs> so, uh, quite uh, limited indeed. I, I want to start soon. So, hopefully there will be more flooding in. Uh, as we say, flooding in um, is meaning that you get lots at once, of course. Um, similar to like a lot of water. When you say they are flooding through the doors, means that there are lots of people coming in at the same time. All right. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to start off with um, prepositions. Then we're going to move on to um, British English versus American English. And then after that, we're going to look at some phrasal verbs with using get. And then uh, after that one, uh, as you probably know, we're going to look at idioms, which are some of my favorites, of course. All right. So, um, yeah, not too many people. So anyway, uh, let's get started with uh, the prepositions, of course. OK, so um, yeah, let's turn the sound off. We don't want the sound, of course. Um, so we're going to go through. I'm going to go over to the other page, which is here. So hopefully you can see it all OK. Ah, we're on the. British and American, not the, there we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look here. What do you say in this situation? What is the correct preposition? Write your name, something, the top of the page. Is it in, is it at, or is it on? Write your name in, at, or on the top of the page. Which one would you use for this one? All right. Let me know in the comments what is the correct answer for this one here. Okay. 
What do you think? What could be the correct answer? Is it in? Is it at? Or is it on? So in this case, we would have to say is <clears throat> using at is the correct answer, right? We say write your name at the top of the page. Svetlana, hello, good to see you. Thank you very much. You got it spot on right away. Well done indeed. So yes, you are absolutely correct there. Uh, that is true. We are going to write your name at the top of the page. Perfectly done indeed. All right, what about this next one? Is your sister something this photo? I can't find her, right? So again, you've got the choices. Is it in, at, or on? Is your sister something this photo? I can't find her, right? Again, we can use these. Some people get mixed up between these prepositions. So it's always good to practice them, of course. Absolutely. Uh, Svetlana, perfect stuff. Well done indeed. Is your sister in this photo? I can't find her. Absolutely. Very, very good indeed. Nice. Awesome. Let's take a look at the next one. I didn't feel well when I woke up. So I stayed something bed. In, at or on. Right. I didn't feel well when I woke up. So... I stayed, and then which one is the correct answer? Yes. Ah, oh, good. Very, very good indeed. Absolutely, no problem at all. Fantastic stuff. Um, yeah, in, in this case, you generally would only use uh, in bed because you are, you know, inside the covers, right? You put the covers over, you're in bed, uh, ready to sleep on bed is usually when you're on like the surface um, for example we would say I'm sitting on the bed rather than I'm sitting in the bed right but yes good well done very very good indeed all right Aria hello good to see you. where are the others I have no idea probably because uh Maybe I haven't done it for a long time, so everybody has forgotten. <laughs> that may be the reason, yes. So I stayed in bed is the correct one. Nice, well done. All right, the next one. We normally use the front door, but there's another one. So meaning another door, not another front door. Um, somewhere the back. So in, at or on. We normally use the front door, but there's another one somewhere in, at, or on the back. Which one do you think? What is the correct answer? Ah, uh, Aria, nice. Well done. Very good. Any others? Yo, hello. And good to see you. Thank you very much for joining. Of course, uh, always lovely to have some familiar faces indeed. All right. So, yeah, we no normally use the front door, but there's another one, another door, something the back. And yes, you are absolutely correct. At the back is the correct answer. Lovely stuff. All right. The next one. Is there anything interesting in, at, or on the paper today? Newspaper, of course, this means, right? Is there anything interesting? Yes, in, at, or on? Um, yes, the paper today. Yes, good. Very, very good indeed. Yeah, possibly the time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a reason for that because uh at one hour like one hour later i'm going to be talking to my dad so um that's one of the reasons why it's a little bit earlier than usual <laughs> ah this one um 
In this case, we would use in the paper because, all right, the stories are inside uh, the paper, similar to like a, a book, right? Um, yeah, it's not really on, so we'd have to look inside. So yes, is there anything interesting in the paper today is the correct answer. Alrighty. The next one. I checked the list, but my name wasn't in, at, or on it. Yes. What would we think for this one? We've got a list of names, right? And maybe you can't see yours. So you can say my name isn't or wasn't and then something. Yes. Very good. Yep, my name wasn't on the list because again, it's on the surface. Perfect stuff. On is the correct answer. Very good. All right, the next one. Yes, something, the end of the street, there is a path leading to the river. In, at or on? what one is the best option for this one, right? Yeah, be careful with this one, where we're looking at um, using like the end of the street. So would it be in the end, at the end, or on the end, right? Yeah, good, very, very good indeed, cool. Fantastic, you are superbly right. So you got it right. And that is at the end of the street, there is a path leading to a river. Wonderful stuff. The next one, I love to look up at the stars something, the sky at night. In, at or on, right? I love to look up at the stars and then, which is the correct preposition for this one? Something, the sky at night. Yes, of course. Yeah, very good. Very, very good indeed. Yeah, we are going to be using in the sky at night. Sometimes people get confused because uh, we often hear um, the preposition for used the time of the day at night. But in this case, because we're looking at the sky, we need to use in because it's in the sky. The next one, it's a very small village. You probably won't find it. And then your map, is it in, is it at, or is it on? Right, this one is another good one. Yes, what would we say for maps? Will we use in your map, at your map, or on your map? Which is the correct answer for this one? Yeah, I wonder which is the correct answer. Uh, like a diamond in the sky. Yeah, there we go. I like the, yes, the way in which you can remember that. If you're very, very familiar with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, there we go. You can remember uh, that one very easily. Fantastic. Uh, yes, this one here is on your map because, again, we're just looking at the surface. Usually, if we have a map, it's on the surface, so we would say on your map. Um, that is the most commonly used one there. Dominico, hello, good evening, good to see you. All right, very, very good indeed. Ah, now this one. Yes, it's been a while. <laughs> uh, Paris is something, the River Seine, um, or Seine. Maybe my pronunciation of French uh, rivers is not the best. Uh, in, at, or on. Yes, Paris is something, the River Seine. Seine, I'm not sure. I have to ask a French friend to help me. <laughs> Although maybe, um, yeah, maybe you guys who might live uh, in French-speaking countries could know. Uh, on the bank of, hmm, okay, good, very good indeed. Yes, fantastic. Um, 
very good no problem at all that's the one thing actually whenever we whenever we're talking about right rivers we often use on but it's not physically on the river right it's next to the river of course um however yes uh we usually say yeah it's on um yeah on the river right i live on the river y for example um yes it's one of the ones we use a lot the last one uh is my office is something the top floor in at or on right which one my office is something the top floor uh i live by the sea yes there we go i wish i lived by the sea i, I live in a kind of a concrete jungle um yeah unfortunately there is no sea ocean river anywhere near where i live it's terrible <laughs> one day uh my office is on yes the top floor whenever we're talking about floors for example if you live in an apartment uh, or flat um you can say i live on the third floor i live on the fifth floor so yes on the top floor is the perfect answer there well done very very good indeed now a fun one that we haven't done before uh, and that is we're going to look at uh, looking um, at some interesting differences between British English and American English yes so we're going to be looking at this one here all right so let me get myself sorted out yes here we go so right british english versus american english which one of these is british english vacation or holiday which one do you think is british english yes what is the british english one uh, is it vacation or is it um holiday what do you think i have been practicing advanced grammar by making sentences with and particularly i have been focused uh, inversion structures oh wow good yes very very good indeed ah okay nice interesting this one here british english so including myself we say holiday yeah american english vacation that is the difference of these ones yes um often we say for example school holidays summer holidays we don't say summer vacation so yes holiday is the british version or the british one here ah uh, this one should be easy <laughs> this one should be easy uh american english so american english do they say uh, soccer or do they say football which one do you think is the correct answer soccer or football yeah aria that's right yeah we we say holidays yes <laughs> yeah christmas holidays yeah we don't say christmas vacation <laughs> yeah good 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 although many people might argue which is the correct which is the ori original one for this sport so yes um we we often get into a little bit of an argument about this uh yes but american english soccer is of course the correct one indeed in the uk we say football all right what about this one british english um do we say autumn or do we say fall right yes football is british yes <laughs> yeah, that's true indeed although i suppose nowadays many people say um it's the soccer world cup right uh and in probably in the olympics i think the olympic name is soccer too unfortunately so not football <laughs> yes 
So am I, Dominico. Man United are getting back on track. Three wins in a row. It was amazing to win against Liverpool. Um, good. Very, very good in here. So, actually, British English, we use autumn. Uh, we don't use fall. Autumn is the one that uh, we use in England. In America, I think they use both. Um, but, yeah, in England, um, autumn is definitely the one that we use the most. Okay. All right, the next one. This should be quite an easy one. Which is the American English for this one? Uh, lift or elevator? They have had a detrimental start to the sea. The first two games were absolutely terrible. Yes. Um, <laughs> there was talk of Manchester United getting relegated. So, yeah, luckily not. Uh, Autumn, it's on one of your shots. There we go. Yes. So you have paid attention uh, as usual. Well done. Yes. Good memory as well. <laughs> Yeah, that is on one of the shorts that I did. All right. American English, lift or elevator? Which one do we use when we're talking about uh, American English? Of course, one is British. One is American. Yes. Although nowadays it doesn't particularly matter which one you use. Um, people always say, which one should we use? Should we use English? Or British English or American English it doesn't really matter as long as you are comfortable saying the vocabulary then it doesn't particularly matter uh, in this case uh, I'm not sure if anybody answered but elevator is American English lift is British yes yeah we say lift Americans say elevator uh, the next one again which is British English uh, yard or garden? Yes. Um, often we hear the term backyard or back garden. So which one is British English? Do you think backyard or back garden or front yard, front garden? Which is the one for British English? Yes. Lovely stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Aria. Yes absolutely <laughs> uh yeah that is absolutely correct indeed um we say garden yes uh where are the kids they are playing in the garden we don't say playing in the yard no ah now this one's a fun one as well <laughs> um american english ladybird or ladybug which is the american english for this one I'm sure most people know this one. Yes, this one is a very common, uh, commonly taught one, actually. Yeah, ladybug or ladybug. Yes, American English. Yeah, very similar, of course. You're, you're not too far away from either one. But yeah, which ones do they use in uh, the States? Um... Mmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Cool. Asma, hello. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Lovely to have you. Um, yes. All right. Uh, in this case, Ladybug is dun, 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 American English. Ladybird is British English. Yes. Um, so in this case, Ladybug is American. Ladybird is British. Yes. So I teach my daughter. Uh, she says Ladybird, but if she has English uh, class at her school, they teach her Ladybug. <laughs> All right. The next one, uh, Mark or Grade, right? So for example, which one is British English in this case? I have to mark the test or I have to grade the test. Which one do you think is British English? Mark or grade? Yes, which one? So this is an interesting just to get you guys familiar with different vocabulary, right? 
it doesn't matter where you are or, or sort of who you're learning from um, you never know when you might hear or need to use some different vocabulary so it's always good to learn these uh, different variations of the word uh, hello, Lama. Good to see you. Nice to see you indeed. Uh, thank you very much. Um, in this case, British English is Mark. Yes. Yeah. What Mark did you get on the test? Yes. All right. Nadia, good to see you. Thank you very much. All right. And the last one, if you did see another one of my shorts is um, basically you will know this one already. American English, rubber or eraser? Which one do you call it in American English? Okay, lovely stuff. <laughs> uh, wonder which one, yes. American English, is it rubber or is it eraser? Oh, good, very, very good indeed. I think I did, yeah, I did do this once. Um, I'm not sure when it was, but maybe it was a few weeks ago, I think. Yes, you are absolutely right. Uh, the term rubber is British English. So in this case, eraser is American English, of course. Yes, um, that's one of the interesting ones, actually. Yeah, in America, yeah, it's a completely different meaning. So... Um, yeah, eraser uh, you can use in America, uh, rubber is best to use only in the UK. All right, awesome stuff, well done. Very, very good indeed. All right, wonderful. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the, um, yes, these little mini quizzes. We're gonna go on now and move over to uh, using phrasal verbs. Uh, with give yes so we're gonna have a look at this one here all right um, so we've got a lot of um, different variations for give when we use phrasal verbs so before moving to a new flat I gave something uh, all of my old furniture which one would we use you've got five choices away in, off, out, or up? Which one do you think is the correct answer? Right? Yes. Um, Romelia, hello. Good evening. Thanks very much for joining. Awesome stuff. Very, very good indeed. Yes. Well done. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, in this case, you are correct. It is definitely going to be um give away or gave away so in this case don't forget using the different tenses but in this case yes um i gave away all my old furniture furniture <laughs> furniture okay uh the next one here look it's time to give your um it's time to give something your examination papers to the teacher right wonderful thank you for joining from romania awesome stuff yes asthma good job well done nadia you got it right as well uh, pretty much everyone got that one that first one correct so the second one which one give away give in give off give out give up yes which one is the correct one hmm it's time to give something, your examination papers, to the teacher. Right? Yeah. If you're writing a test, if you're doing a paper, right? Look, it's time to give your examination papers, right? Right, in this case, it's time to give in your examination papers give out would be from the teacher right so you're giving it to the teacher so in this case we would use give in similar to like hand in as well 
right? We can use give in, hand in. Yes, any of those are okay to use. Yeah, give out is for like the teacher giving out or handing out. Yeah, uh, this old car gives something uh, a lot of fumes. You can be fined. Uh, <laughs> it must be a terrible car. Uh, away, in, off, out, or up. Yes. Yes, hand in and give in. Basically, they are the same. <laughs> indeed. Good. Yeah, good. Very nice indeed. Gives, and then what, which one? Absolutely. If you think about, like, the smoke or the, the fumes, yes. Absolutely, indeed. Yeah, this old car gives off um a lot of fumes you can be fined yes well done perfect all right the next one you have given something your chance to win this competition yes you have given something your chance to win this competition yeah which one will be used for this one right yeah good very very good indeed absolutely um yeah nadia good um romelio very good indeed cool asthma nice very nicely done indeed yo yes dominico awesome uh aria good yes uh generally yeah given up is um the one that i would use i don't know why <laughs> I would say given up uh, and uh, yeah I made this <laughs> I made this it's given up <laughs> I must have clicked the wrong answer <laughs> when I was making it um, it's definitely given up you can use given away given away is usually like giving it to somebody else right but I would certainly use given up in that case uh, the next one um, he gave and then this one copies of the report at the end of the meeting yes yeah there we go so it's the opposite to the first question right okay when we're talking about um you know handing in or giving in to the teacher this is the opposite yes he gave out copies of the report at the end of the meeting lovely stuff okay good i'm going to give something the idea of traveling it's very expensive yes maybe nowadays people feel exactly the same as this one i'm going to give something the idea of traveling yeah right can you travel maybe not it's too expensive um so yes which one would it be yeah if you if you had a plan or if you had a desire to do something but suddenly it became too uh expensive or too difficult you can be like no nah, i've i give up so i'm going to give up the idea of traveling yeah meaning i'm gonna quit i'm gonna stop thinking about it so give up is the correct one here. All right. Lovely stuff. Uh, <laughs> right. How about this one here? Uh, yeah, abandon. Yeah, you can use that one. Abandon as well. Give up means to, to stop caring or not even bother. Um, yeah, there's a few ways in which we can express that. Yeah, very good. Uh, his legs gave something after running that long distance yes maybe cannot stand up anymore so what would we say there could be two actually honestly right there could be two but there's one that there's one that kind of expresses it a little bit better um so yeah we can we there are two possibilities but one i think is probably more commonly used yeah uh so you're right most of you got this perfectly right 
um, his legs gave out. Yeah. So in this case, when we sort of use gave out, it means that kind of collapsing, not, not standing anymore. So in that case, we would say gave out under the pressure or uh, stress of doing the running for so long. Uh, the next one, you should keep your word and promise not to give something my secret away in off out or up right you should keep your word and promise not to give something my secrets <laughs> yes you should pinky promise don't break a promise <laughs> keep your friend's secrets indeed cool uh, reveal yeah there we go that's another good uh, good synonym of course as well uh, absolutely no problem at all yeah nice yeah so um uh, nice Romalia very good indeed Aria yes Nadia fantastic asthma very good indeed yeah there we go you can use an idiom as well let the cat out of the bag um, sometimes spill the beans could be a use useful one to use uh, but yes in this case uh, we would usually use give away. Yes, very, very good indeed. Don't give away my secrets. Yes. Uh, or like we often hear this in cooking, right? Uh, does your grandma have a secret recipe uh, for this dish? Yes, she does. But I'm not going to give away the secret recipe. Um, good. The next one. Uh, he is a very stubborn man. He is sticking to his point of view. He isn't going to give and then something and change his mind. Away, in, off, out or up. Which one is the correct answer here? Right. He's not going to change. Right. If you keep pushing, if you keep pushing. Yeah. No matter how much pressure. Right. Yes, he is. Oh, some interesting. Yeah, good. Very, very good. All right. Nice, 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 nice. Um, in, in this case, generally, we have to use give in because it means that we have um, basically, I would say you're, you're giving in to the pressure. Um, so you're finally, okay, yeah, I changed my mind. Um, but in this case, he is not going to give in no matter how much that person tries to change his mind. He's not going to give in. Give up would be to tell information. Um, so yes, a little slight difference there, but in this case, yes. Uh, Dominico, well done. Um, very, very good indeed. Aria, yes, I like the word surrender. Very, very good as well. So yes, he is not going to give in. All right. Usually kids, I want that toy. I want that toy. I want that toy. Eventually, parents sometimes give in just to keep them quiet. <laughs> um, all right, the next one. The robber went to the police station and gave himself to the police. Yeah, this one is a good one. Away, in, off, out or up. Right, he gave himself mm, to the police. Which one would we use for this? All right, yeah. Gave himself out? Gave himself in? Okay, cool, cool. Any other ideas? What would we say? The robber went to the police station and gave himself... Hmm, yes. <laughs> He's kind of the whistleblower on himself, yes. In, in a sense, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, in, indeed. He's kind of, uh, yeah, kind of that person... He wants to, yes, <laughs> tell the police about his crimes. 
Um, in this case, uh, we use uh, gave himself up, right? Yes, he gave himself up to the police. Um, he didn't want to be running from, you know, the, the police anymore. So he gave up and yeah, he gave himself up to the police is the good one here. Nice. Well done. All right. The next one, my parents finally, I just gave you the answer to this. <laughs> my parents finally gave something and said I could go to the party. Is it away? Is it in? Is it off? Out or up? <laughs> uh, remember, I just gave you the answer. All right. Okay. Yes. Very, very good indeed. All right. <laughs> Yeah, maybe that parent parents do give up sometimes, right? <laughs> uh, but again, as we said, because of the pressure, the kids saying, I want to go to the party. I want to go to the party. In the end, yes, parents finally give in from the pressure and then they go, yeah, OK, fine. Go ahead. Uh, so give in is the correct answer here. All right, we've got two more to go. This one and then one more. And then we're heading over to idioms with conversational ex um, examples. Uh, when they die, plants give something, gases such as carbon dioxide and methane. Yes. Yes. They have to sometimes. Dominico, I know. Yes. Having my daughter, definitely, um, we, we have to give in sometimes. <laughs> yes, emissions, that's right. Yes, yeah, good. Very, very good. Yeah, you can, um, if, if you change uh, gases, um, yeah, with emissions, you can use that one, definitely. But yes, everybody's correct. Asma, well done. Very, very good indeed. Nadia, Aria, Dominico. Very nicely done indeed. Give off is the correct answer. And the last one is don't give this data something or we'll get the sack. Right. Yes. Maybe personal data, maybe credit card information, maybe addresses, telephone numbers. Oh, not good. <laughs> I really don't like uh, companies selling data. I think that's terrible, especially like our data, right? They collect a lot of information and then they can sell it. Um, but yes, in this case, you guys are nailing this perfectly. Um, yes, Romelia, well done. Dominico, fantastic. Nadia, Aria, Asma, very, very good indeed. Awesome stuff. Yes, you are all spot on. Don't give this data away or we will get the sack. Yes, indeed. Uh, you can say we will get fired as well. That's another, I, I would say, sometimes a little bit of a difference between British English and American English too, um, is that, um, yeah, we, we definitely go, uh, we have a difference, right? So. In England, we often say get the sack um, instead of get fired, uh, but you can use either or. So no problem at all. All right. Let's head over to the last one. And the last activity today is idioms. I know you like it. And if you do like it, please, as you can see here, whoosh, please like this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe as well to the channel. Um, so let's go over and we can have a look at idioms for the next and final quiz for today. All right. So let's take a look here. All right. So here we go. And then, yes, these are idioms in conversations. So how would we complete this conversation with the best idiom? All righty. 
So here, he is the best candidate for the job. Definitely the something. I completely agree. Bookworm, cream of the crop, apple of my eye, which is the correct answer in this case here. All right. Yes, he is the best candidate. So he is what? Yeah, get the axe. Yeah, good. Very, very good indeed. If you <laughs> if you want to use um, if you want to use rhyming slang, you can say um, he got the tic tac, meaning sack. In, in British English, uh, we have what's called Cockney rhyming slang, where it rhymes together to make a similar word. So you can say I got the t uh, yeah I got the tic tac, meaning I got the sack. <laughs> um, yes, cream of the crop. You are absolutely correct indeed. Asma, well done. Nadia, very, very good indeed. Romele, uh, Aria, very good. There we go. Perfect. So the next one for idioms. How did your IELTS test go? Great. Actually, I... Da -da 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 -da. Okay. What do you think? Learned the hard way, easy as ABC, passed with flying colours. Yes. These are some interesting idioms that we can use in conversations, of course. All right. Very, very nicely done indeed. Uh, yes. Fantastic. Um, yeah, Romelia, very good. Uh, Aria, fantastic. Dominico, well done. Nadia, absolutely. Yes. Passed with flying colours is correct, indeed. Yes, means you aced it as well. It's a good one. Asma, fantastic. Uh, well, Jerry is up early this morning. Yep, he really wants to start. He's a... Um, which one? He's a um, teacher's pet, copycat, eager beaver. It was a piece of cake, yes. It's another good one yeah yeah if you want to say it's very easy no problem at all good one good one to use <laughs> all righty so yes what about this one wow jerry is up early this morning yep he really wants to start he's an which one yes oh uh, yeah you can use that one yeah early bird is a good one too yeah absolutely of course Nice. Yes. Uh, Romelia, good job. Aria, fantastic. Nadia, Dominica, Asma, very, very good indeed. Uh, yes. <laughs> You're right. If you noticed, yeah, of course, which one it would be. Anne is probably the giveaway part here. Yes. Uh, Eager Beaver, it is. Well done. <laughs> well spotted of course yeah the next one she'll have to and then something because she never listens to me it's not my fault if she gets into trouble yes <laughs> uh maybe you might notice where some of these conversations come from um yes i've probably said this to my daughter many many times <laughs> or oh, i've said this to my wife uh, about my daughter yep yeah, early bird catches the worm certainly does yes um yes romalia nice good <laughs> dominica yes nadia well done aria yes fantastic oh wow we have 33 uh people in our live lesson today that's awesome very good very very good indeed thank you all for joining uh absolute pleasure to have all of you here so thank you very much uh yes everybody got this correct have to learn the hard way because she doesn't listen <laughs> uh the next one i'm really sorry it won't happen again Make sure it doesn't. I'll something. Find my feet. Be keeping my eye on you. Be in hot water. All right. 
as well. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Indeed. Thank you for your kind words. Of course. Yes. Um, yeah, these ones are uh, an interesting one, right? Yeah, make sure it doesn't aisle. Right, which one is it? Yes. Ah, uh, everybody's got this perfect. Well done. Very, very good indeed. Uh, my, <laughs> my daughter often does this to me. Yes. <laughs> Meaning that she's keeping her eyes on me. So, yes. Um, that is the correct answer here. Be keeping my eye on you. Yeah, good. All right. This one. Uh, these boxes are pretty heavy. Would you mind something? No, not at all. Which one can we use for this one? Yeah, <laughs> she often does it like just randomly. She I'm, I'm sitting down and she just often goes like this <laughs> as if to say I'm doing something wrong. Yes, <laughs> she's cheeky. Um, good, 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 good. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, we can use similar versions. You're right, um, Romalia. Fantastic stuff. Indeed. Aria, well done. Asma, nice. Nadia, very good. Um, so, giving me a hand is the correct answer. Yes. Yeah, we don't, we can't just remove our hand. Can you give me your hand? Yes. Similar as, um, yeah, we just looked at lend me uh, a hand is also good to use too. The next one, be careful. Don't drop it. Wheel something if anything happens to it yes be careful don't drop it wheel something if anything happens to it be finding our feet be ahead of the game or be in hot water yes if you dropped something expensive right how would people react yeah I, I wouldn't want to drop anything expensive. <laughs> yes. Nice. Very good indeed. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Dominico, nice. Uh, Aria, yes, well done. Nadia, good job. Uh, Romalia, well done. Asma, fantastic. Yes, be in trouble. Yes, be in hot water, of course. Very good. All right, the next one. This new piece of technology will keep us, and then which one? Ahead of the game, in hot water, catching eyes. Yes, this new piece of technology will keep us, and what will be the way to finish this sentence? Yeah, good. Very, very good indeed. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, kind of up to date. Yeah, yeah, no problem at all. Um, you could also use another one like keep us competitive uh, if you wanted to. Um, but in this case, if it's new technology and others don't have it, we can say ahead of the game. Um, yeah, or you could say ahead of the competition. Uh, as well but yes this one is perfectly nice to use indeed uh, asthma yeah well done very very good indeed aria fantastic um romania good dominica well done perfect ahead of the game is awesome nice all right this next one the penultimate one right the penultimate penultimate means second to last uh how's the new job well i'm still da -da 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 but it's a lot of fun finding my feet covering a lot of ground catching the eye yes how's the new job well i'm still something something yes but it's a lot of fun nice well done very very good Okay, Asma, well done. Yes, Romania, good job. Um, Nadia, fantastic. Aria, yes. Dominico, Asma, well done. Yes, trying to fit in. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can use that one. Yeah, trying to fit in, um, trying to find my place could be a good one. Um, yeah, I mean, finding my feet means like getting used to it, right? Fitting in means that you're trying to sort of get your personality across. So a little bit different, a little bit different in that sense. Finding my feet generally just means um, sort of getting used to the job. All right, the next one, the last one. Are you familiar with Marmite? Uh, I think so. The name something, yes. Which one is the correct answer here? All right. Are you familiar with Marmite? <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, get my bearings as well is a good one. Yeah, nice. Um, good. Very, very good indeed. All right. Okay. Yes. Have any of you tried Marmite? Right? I wonder. Yeah, learn the ropes is a great one. Yeah, Romania, that's a good one for number nine. But yes, are you familiar with Marmite? I think so. The name rings a bell. Yes. There we go. That was perfect. Well done indeed. Very, very good, of course. Fantastic stuff. All right. So that was the end of the lesson. Okay. And I hope you enjoyed, of course, the lesson today. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing here? Ah, uh, come on then. You can say hello. You get on the chain, you have to stand up. Hello. <laughs> we have a guest today. Yes. Uh, this is my lovely daughter who wanted to come and say hello uh, as she heard me uh, giving the um, the live stream lesson. <laughs> she doesn't like it. So what do you do when you're keeping your eye on me? <laughs> Baby. You do this, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Ah. Because mommy made me chocolate tea. Chocolate tea? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's my, that's my favorite. Okay. Go and drink it then. See you in a minute. All right. <laughs> yes. She cannot resist but to come and say hello. Um, but thank you all very much for joining me today. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to have so many of you so it's been great thank you very much indeed um <laughs> yes she is very cute <laughs> indeed uh she is lovely when she is in a very good mood but as many five-year-olds do their moods go up and down of course <laughs> all right uh as I said, guys, thank you very much indeed. It's been a long time since I did one of these, but hopefully uh, I can find the time to do another one very, very soon. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, please like, as you can see here, the graphics. We've got uh, this interesting little device now uh, to remind people. <laughs> um, yeah, please like, please subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, that would be much appreciated, of course. But as always, have a wonderful weekend. Uh, I hope that everybody enjoys themselves and I will be seeing you all very, very soon indeed. Take care and have a great Saturday. Um, of course, daytime, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you very soon, of course. All right, guys, take care. See you soon. Bye bye.